In early 2016, something went wrong inside a plane engine and the damage spread faster than anyone expected. Flights were cancelled. Aircraft sat on the ground across Europe, Asia and the Pacific. Airlines lost money every day and some even stopped trusting planes they had just bought. Boeing did not build the engine but Boeing's Dreamliner took the hit. Orders changed and customers started looking elsewhere. What began as a technical problem slowly turned into a business crisis that Boeing could not ignore. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner entered service in October 2011 with two engine options, General Electric's Gen X and Rolls-Royce's Trent 1000. Both engines were certified and marketed as next-generation power plants designed for long-range efficiency. Early operational data appeared stable. Dispatch reliability was reported near 99.9%. That figure collapsed in early 2016 when corrosion-related fatigue cracking was discovered in the intermediate pressure turbine blades of Trent 1000 engines operated by all Nippon Airways. Aircraft were immediately withdrawn from service, forcing flight cancellations and emergency inspections. The root cause involved a design flaw in turbine blade materials interacting with specific environmental conditions. The issue was not isolated, by mid-2016, similar findings appeared across global operators. Rolls-Royce was forced to ground up to 44 Boeing 787 aircraft at one point. Airlines experienced cascading operational failures as inspection intervals were shortened and spare engines became unavailable. British Airways emerged as one of the most heavily affected operators. The airline repeatedly cancelled or rescheduled long-haul routes due to delayed engine deliveries and repair backlogs. Maintenance constraints reduced available aircraft, forcing network cuts. British Airways leased Airbus A330s from Qatar Airways and later deployed an Air Belgium Airbus A343 on the Heathrow to Abu Dhabi route through late 2018 to maintain capacity. The disruptions did not stop. In 2024, British Airways grounded six Boeing 787 aircraft and suspended routes to Bahrain and Kuwait, citing ongoing Trent 1000 supply chain delays. The airline later confirmed that delays to engine and parts deliveries from Rolls-Royce continued into 2025, impacting schedule reliability. A spokesperson stated the airline was disappointed to make further changes as material shortages persisted. At the Farnborough Air Show in July 2024, British Airways announced a strategic shift. The airline selected General Electric's Gen X1 Bravo engines for six incoming Boeing 787 aircraft, ending Rolls-Royce exclusivity within its Dreamliner fleet. British Airways CEO Sean Doyle stated the decision followed a competitive evaluation factoring cost, quality and total cost of maintenance. Virgin Atlantic faced parallel constraints. The airline operates 17 Boeing 787-9 aircraft, all powered by Trent 1000 engines. Fan blade cracking and inspection failures forced aircraft to be grounded and schedules revised. In late 2024, Virgin Atlantic confirmed that one aircraft was grounded, with expectations of two grounded in 2025. Route launches to Tel Aviv and Accra were postponed, while the London Heathrow to Dallas-Fort Worth route was suspended for the summer season. Virgin Atlantic CEO Shai Weiss described the situation publicly in November 2024, stating, This is a 10-year cycle on 787 issues. It started from the launch of the plane and the choice of the Rolls-Royce engine. The Trent 1000 engine has not been a good engine. Air New Zealand, the first airline to order the Trent 1000 in 2004, also experienced sustained disruption. The carrier grounded multiple Boeing 787-9 aircraft due to engine availability constraints and suspended its Chicago route between March and October 2025. Four of its 14 787-9s were unavailable at peak periods due to Trent-related maintenance issues. In 2019, Air New Zealand altered its fleet strategy. 
the airline selected General Electric's Gen X1 Bravo engines for eight new Boeing 787-10 aircraft despite operating Trent-powered 787-9s. In early 2020, all Nippon Airways, the launch operator of the Trent 1000, also selected GE engines for an incremental Dreamliner order. Norwegian Air Shuttle faced severe financial consequences. Engine reliability issues contributed to $120 million in passenger compensation costs. The airline was forced to wet lease replacement aircraft, including a high-fly Airbus A380. Norwegian ultimately exited long-haul operations entirely, citing Trent 1,000 issues as a contributing factor. The financial toll on Rolls-Royce escalated rapidly. In 2018, the company recorded a $315 million accounting charge. By 2019, cumulative costs exceeded £750 million, with additional annual expenses projected. In November 2019, Rolls-Royce announced a £1.4 billion charge against operating profit. Total costs from 2017 through 2023 reached approximately £2.4 billion. Operational limitations worsened when regulatory agencies reduced ETOPS certification for affected engines. Extended range approval dropped from 330 minutes to as low as 140 minutes, with some aircraft restricted to 60 minutes. These constraints rendered polar and long oceanic routes commercially impractical. Air New Zealand reported that 31 aircraft required reduced payload and thrust limits to comply with revised ETOPS rules. Inspection failure rates compounded the crisis. Nearly 30% of inspected Trent 1000 Package C engines failed regulatory checks. Rolls-Royce warned some operators to expect failure rates approaching 50% during inspections. Spare engine shortages overwhelmed maintenance facilities, creating global backlogs that also impacted other Rolls-Royce engine programs. The market response became visible in order data. In early 2018, Rolls-Royce held approximately 33% of Boeing 787 engine orders. By 2024, that share had collapsed. Of 948 Boeing 787 aircraft on order, only 48 were listed with Trent 1000 engines, while over 534 were assigned to General Electric's Gen X. This represented roughly 92% of known orders favoring GE. GE states the Gen X powers two-thirds of Dreamliners in service, offering higher time on wing, a 99.98% dispatch rate, and improved fuel efficiency metrics. Airlines increasingly cited maintenance, predictability, and operational stability as determining factors in engine selection. Rolls-Royce acknowledged the loss. Head of engineering Simon Burr stated, We've lost market share on this engine because it's not sufficiently durable. The company committed £1 billion to product improvements and introduced a durability enhancement package expected to more than double time on wing. Certification was still ongoing as of late 2024. As of 2025, Boeing has delivered 1,189 Dreamliners. Of those, 405 are powered by Rolls-Royce engines and 784 by GE. The balance continues shifting as airlines replace future orders and new deliveries enter service. While Boeing did not manufacture the engines, the operational consequences directly influenced airline fleet planning, route availability, and long-term purchasing behavior across the global wide-body market. December marked a critical moment for Airbus and the global aircraft manufacturing industry. On that day, aviation regulators ordered inspections on hundreds of Airbus A320's family aircraft after a fuselage manufacturing flaw was identified. The decision immediately placed pressure on airline operations, production schedules, and delivery timelines at a time when Airbus is already struggling to stabilize output. The inspections were ordered after a flaw was discovered in fuselage components on some A320 aircraft. Regulators stated that the issue requires mandatory checks on certain jets already in service, as well as aircraft that have not yet been delivered. The directive applies across multiple operators and production batches and cannot be deferred by airlines or manufacturers. The Airbus A320 program is the central pillar of Airbus's commercial aviation business. The narrow body family represents the largest share of Airbus's annual aircraft deliveries and its overall order backlog. 
Airlines in the USA rely heavily on A320 aircraft for domestic and regional routes. Any disruption to this program directly affects airline capacity planning and operational reliability. The inspections could slow aircraft deliveries because planes must be examined before being handed over to customers. Aircraft already in active service may also need to be temporarily removed from operations to complete the required checks. Regulators describe the inspections as precautionary but mandatory once issued. Airbus confirmed it is working with aviation authorities to manage the inspection process. The timing of the fuselage issue compounds existing production challenges at Airbus. The company has struggled throughout 2024 and 2025 to increase output of the A320 family. Supplier delays, labor shortages and manufacturing bottlenecks have repeatedly forced Airbus to revise internal production targets and delivery forecasts. Airbus continues to face supplier quality issues across multiple stages of the aircraft manufacturing process. Problems have affected fuselage sections, cabin interiors and engine availability. Each disruption places additional pressure on final assembly lines and complicates delivery schedules for airline customers waiting for new aircraft. Airbus has acknowledged workforce strain as another factor limiting production stability. Hiring skilled labour across European production sites has proven difficult. Training new workers requires time and resources and can affect consistency on the assembly line. Production pressure increases the likelihood of manufacturing defects when output targets are raised during periods of limited staffing. The regulator-ordered inspections introduce new uncertainty for airlines operating large A320 fleets. Aircraft may need to be grounded for inspection depending on regulatory guidance and maintenance scheduling. Airlines must coordinate closely with Airbus and aviation authorities to limit operational disruptions, particularly during periods of high travel demand. USA Airlines are among those potentially affected by the inspection order. Several major carriers operate large numbers of Airbus narrow-body jets. Any reduction in available aircraft capacity can force schedule changes, raise operational costs and disrupt network planning across domestic route systems. Airbus stated that the fuselage issue does not present an immediate safety risk but confirmed that inspections are required to comply with regulatory standards. The company said it is supporting airlines and working with regulators to address the issue. Airbus did not provide a specific estimate for potential delivery delays linked to the inspections. The fuselage floor highlights broader challenges facing Airbus as it attempts to raise production rates. Repeated quality and supply chain issues make it harder for the manufacturer to recover momentum. Each delay weakens confidence among airline customers who depend on predictable delivery schedules to support long-term fleet planning. As Airbus works through inspections and manufacturing constraints, attention has shifted toward Boeing. Boeing remains under regulatory scrutiny following its own safety and certification challenges. However, Airbus's current difficulties may influence airline fleet planning decisions, particularly in the USA market where fleet transitions are closely tied to delivery reliability. Airlines delaying Airbus deliveries may keep existing Boeing aircraft in service longer than originally planned. Some carriers may postpone fleet transitions rather than introduce additional uncertainty into their operations. These decisions do not require new aircraft orders but can still affect competitive dynamics between the two manufacturers. The Airbus-Boeing rivalry has historically been shaped by production reliability as much as aircraft performance. When manufacturing stability weakens, airlines prioritize operational certainty over long-term efficiency gains. The inspection order could further complicate Airbus's efforts to increase narrow body deliveries during 2026.